In this video, I'll show you how to insert mathematical equations into Google Docs. First of all, position your cursor where you would like the new equation. Then you can either go to Insert and select Equation, or you can go to View, select Show Equation Toolbar, and then click New Equation. Notice a couple things. First of all, a blue box appears, and inside of that blue box, you can type your equation. In this case, we're going to type the quadratic formula that appears here. Secondly, notice that there are now five menus on the equation toolbar. The first menu contains Greek symbols like alpha and beta. The second menu contains mathematical operations like multiplication and division. The third menu contains comparison symbols like less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. The fourth menu contains mathematical operations like division, square roots, nth roots, exponents, and so on. The last menu contains various types of arrows. So let's go ahead and get started. To insert the quadratic formula, we begin typing x is equal to. Now in order to get this complicated mathematical expression, we need to notice its structure. First of all, it's a fraction. We have a numerator divided by a denominator. So we'll go to the mathematical operators menu and select the fraction template, which is a over b. Right now, the cursor is in the numerator. So we begin typing the opposite of b. And next, we need a plus or minus symbol. So we go to the operators menu, and we find plus or minus. Next, we have a square root. So we go back to the mathematical operators menu and select the square root template, the square root of x. Now underneath of the square root, we have b squared minus 4ac. To type b squared, you can either go to the mathematical operators menu and select x raised to the b, or more simply, you can just type b and then shift 6 and the number 2. So you have b squared. Now in order to exit the exponent, press enter. Then subtract 4ac. Now that we're done with the radicand, the part underneath of the radical, we press enter to exit the radical. And then we're also done with the numerator, so we press enter to exit the numerator and it takes us to the denominator. In the denominator, we have 2a. If you need to move around and change anything, you can also use the left and right arrow keys. You can always resize your equation, select the equation, and select a new size. Once you've created an equation, you can create a new one by clicking new equation. 